Hello everyone! So today we are going to be filming a different kind of video than a normal video, not just a cover video. Today we are going to be doing a Q&A and for the Q&A I have my friend Sarah Noel. questions that you all tweeted and yeah so whenever you're ready okay whenever your heart desires um <clears throat> so the first tweet is from at tim godbout is that right so his question is what do you love about music there's lots of things i love about music i love i mean i love all the different aspects of it like i love writing and singing and whatever but i don't know i like writing because you can like write about things that make you feel alone but like people share in that and they're like oh I really relate to your song or I really like it so I like that and I just like I feel like it describes feelings better than actual just like words do like when it's in a song you feel it more mm -hmm. instead of just hearing someone yeah like you get like goosebumps yeah. yeah there's lots of things I like about music but that's a little bit okay next one is at Craig Abel 3 and he asked Megan or well he said it's kind of long Megan I have tons of questions Obviously, I will be thrilled if you answered question number one. What are your scheduled CMA shows? Well, I don't know exactly for sure what my schedule is going to be. So, I'll be posting about it closer to time. Um, but, yeah, that's all. <laughs> so, the next one, it's not a question, but it's nice, so I'm going to say it. It's from at DearLover46. Good morning. Have a blessed week. Aww. Yeah. That's sweet. Okay, so the next question is from at Jake Scoggins88. Good morning, Megan. Did you have a good weekend? Have fun at whatever festival you were at. What festival were you at? I was at the Renaissance Festival. Oh, I forgot about that. And it was magical. <laughs> I got to see jousting. I ate a turkey leg. I ate corn on the cob. I ate Jester chips. I ate chocolate-covered cheesecake on a stick. Ooh. And it was probably the best thing I've ever eaten in my entire life it was so good and yeah it was a lot of fun and I had a great weekend because I went to the Renaissance Festival Yay. and I came back in town yes and she came back in town she's never here True. okay next question it's from at GA Drix one and he said you have so much natural beauty and talent how do you stay positive and energetic how long before you have a top 10 hit? I hope one day I'll have a top 10 hit, but I have no idea when that would be or if it will even happen. But oh, I happen. hope. <laughs> I hope it'll happen one day. I guess the way I stay positive and energetic, lots of coffee, that's for sure. I make sure I get my sleep. Like, I am really busy, but I will, like, I make sure to make time to sleep. And that's a big part of it, I'm telling you. Sleep does wonders. Sleep and coffee, that's, like, really all you need. <laughs> and also, just, like, surrounding yourself with other positive people. Because if you're always around negative people, they're always, like, bringing you down, you know? And, like, I get really, like, not energetic when I'm around negative people. But when I'm around positive people, I'm, like, happy and, like... Yay, they're positive. I'm positive too. Yay. <laughs> Next question is from at Ben55Art. And he said, favorite band? Question mark. Emoji, emoji. Hmm. I would say, like, it has to be a band. Yeah, it has to be a band. I went yeah. through, like, a middle school phase where I really loved a bunch of these, like, pop punk sounding bands. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've been on, like, a huge Eagles kick lately. So, maybe the Eagles. Yeah. Eagles for like a throw throwback, a Rock to the Moon for like a semi throwback, and then who's like a recent one? I need like a, like now. Um, I don't even know. I don't, I don't know either. I loved like, do the Civil Wars count? I don't know, that's like a duo. Okay. And they're not even together anymore. Yeah. I kind of do like Five Sauce, not gonna yes! lie. Oh. I kind of do. They're like kind of my guilty pleasure band. I love that. Look so perfect standing, standing there in my American apparel underwear. Baby, I'm so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get Their new CD is really good. Their new CD is. It. I haven't like listened to any other stuff other than what's on the radio, but normally I'm like, okay, this is the jam. I can do it's this. It's really good. 
<laughs> They're good. <laughs> Whatever. Right. Anyways. You know the passcode on my phone is actually Mike because of Michael Clifford from their band. Is like, that the one with like the green hair? Yeah, the fun colored hair. He changes it. It also caught on fire one time. Okay, next question. At Ryan Ryan underscore Thomas. Has anyone inspired you lately that that lets <laughs> wait hold on. I'm gonna restart this question. Has anyone inspired you lately that let's just say a year ago you were unfamiliar with? Have fun shooting the video, smiley face. Actually that's a winky face. Let's see, someone that a year ago I didn't really know, and then now they inspired me. I would say, like, music-wise, mm -hmm. I would definitely say, it sounds stupid because I was familiar with the Eagles, but I didn't, like, know, like, I've just gotten, like, very into them. Like, yeah. I knew their songs before, but I didn't know a lot about them. Yeah. And, like, in the past year, I've, like, really gotten into the Eagles um, and, like, watched documentaries on them and stuff. So, let's go with the Eagles. Cool. And the next one is at pdub24. Who is your favorite all-time Bama player? My favorite all-time Bama player, which this is not based on, like, athletic ability, but... Um, so it's all looks. Basically... How good their butt looks when, in that uniform? When I, when I first started watching the Alabama games, it was, like, around, like, fifth grade or so. The, like, then quarterback was John Parker Wilson, number 14, and I swore I was going to marry that boy. <laughs> I really thought I was going to marry him. And he was probably the only reason I watched all the Alabama games anyways. So he will forever hold a special place in my heart because it's like the love of my life all through my middle school years. Okay, next one. At Laser Focus Ray, when's your next Periscope broadcast? That's a good question. I don't know. I kind of normally do them on a whim. Like if I'm sitting around the house and I have my makeup done and I don't have anything to do, then I'm just like, oh, this would be a good time to do a Periscope because I already did my makeup and, <laughs> and I have nothing to do. I could just sit around or I could do a Periscope. So um, I don't know exactly. Maybe soon. Probably soon because I have a lot more free time now that I'm done with school and done with recording. What, what? <laughs> Plug for the EP. What, what? Oh, yeah. Click right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to edit that. Oh, okay. Maybe we can YouTube it. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure anyway, out how to do next, that. Next, click her face. Yeah, click my Ooh, face. Click her face for a link to go get her EP. And if you don't, nothing will happen to you. It's just you'll miss <laughs> out on a really good EP. <laughs> anyway, so next question is from at JGBoyd76. Your biggest musical influences i would say main one <laughs> i'm looking at them right now <laughs> in five different places Should I? <laughs> my biggest musical influence is johnny cash He's i have walk. lots of johnny cash things but this is probably my favorite johnny cash thing i own it is a johnny cash action figure it comes with like a black guitar and a piece of railroad track obviously because what else would you put with Johnny Cash, yeah, right? exactly. Um, so he's my biggest influence. And then another very different inspiration, but definitely one that is like an inspiration is obviously Taylor Swift. Because she is like a big part of the reason why I started like writing songs. I, I sang since I was little, but like knowing that she wrote all her songs, I was like, oh, I want to do that. So I would say those are probably the two most like prominent people that really shaped my writing styles and just like my urge to do music <laughs> your urge to do <laughs> all right anyways <laughs> okay so from at jeff j 99 c a l do you have a name for your debut album and do you know what some of the songs will be thanks yes i do the name for it, we've been talking a lot about it. It's not set in stone yet, but there's a good chance it's just going to be self-titled because none of the titles from, like, the songs sound like a great album name. And there's no, like, one lyric, too, that I feel like we could take and it just makes sense to be the album name. There's a good chance it's going to be self-titled. The songs that are going to be on it, um, Dangerous will be on it. Dangerous will be on it, for sure. And to find out the rest, click 
click her face. <laughs> click my face. Go get to it. To pre-order it and you'll be the first one to know. Okay, so the next one is at TARDIS Boy Dave. Hey, how's the TARDIS for Halloween? What's a TARDIS? Well, it's like the thing from Doctor Who. It's like the telephone booth, the time traveling machine. Oh, uh, the phone I, booth is named TARDIS? Or it's like... It's like... I don't think we have enough time to go into this conversation <laughs> okay. during the video. All right. But... <laughs> we'll talk yes. about it later. Yeah, okay, anyway. <laughs> so, he said, uh, what is the meaning of life? Fish emoji, fish emoji, wink. And you get the second question later. Oh, okay. What's well. the meaning of life? Um, I'm going to go with the meaning of life. Or maybe instead, <laughs> <laughs> who would you most want to tour with? <laughs> you may not answer that question yeah. for nothing. Um, who would I most like to tour with? I would love to tour with Taylor Swift. That would be ridiculously awesome. Also, I would really love to tour with Kelsey Ballerini. That would be cool. Or Maren Morris. 80s Mercedes is my jam. Oh, I'm a 90s Oh, baby. I remember you made me listen to that. <laughs> yeah, it's my jam for real. I feel like those would be fun people to tour with. Yeah. Okay, so the next question is at PW24. He said, have you named the groundhog? And if so, what did you name it? Okay, so this might need a backstory. Yeah, so a maybe I should give a rundown of what yeah. happened. So one day, I guess, well, my mom, like, screamed from downstairs and so I, like, went downstairs and she was like, oh my gosh, there's a groundhog in our Florida room. And so we have, like, this, like, area in our house that's, like, it's not really outside, but it's not really inside. It's like a sunroom. Yeah, it's like a sunroom, sort of. And so, like, the door just stays open. Like, it doesn't have air conditioning or anything. It's just, like, open. So she like, and then there's like French doors that lead into it so you can see into it from the inside. So she like saw this groundhog and was freaking out. And the groundhog ran away and we didn't see it for like a long time after that. And then one day I came, I was like watching TV and I was like, what the heck is that noise? And I looked over and the groundhog is like gnawing at our door, like trying to break into our house, gnawing at our door. And I was like, what in the world is going on? So it was really scary. I tried to take a Snapchat video of it, but then I ran away. And then, like, now it keeps coming up. And actually, there's a family now. I don't know if I've posted about that. But we have now seen, like, at least a mom and a kid. But I think there's two kids. Because I saw two, like, young gray ones one day. But then someone else saw, my aunt was in town. And she saw, like, the dad, the mom, and a baby. But I think I saw two babies. Because yeah. there were two, like, gray young ones, like, that were really small. But anyways. So if you could name this family of groundhogs what would the mom dad and apparently two children be named that's a lot of names fun facts about myself i'm really bad at naming things really yeah like most people like would name their guitars name their car yeah. like all that kind of stuff but i don't ever name anything because i just can't ever come up with a good name and i'm also very indecisive so like it's hard for me to decide so think of the first four names that pop in your head um let's let's do two boys and two girls Okay. Dad name. Maybe, First dad name. Maybe Cash. Cash. Okay. Girl name. Girl name. Girl name. Girl name. No. One, two, three, go. Um, Any name. The first thing I think of is Loretta. Okay, Loretta. <laughs> I love it. Loretta. Okay. Cash, Loretta. Um, boy name. Boy name. Ben. Ben, that's a good boy name. And then last name. Um, Cheryl. Cheryl. <laughs> so it's Cash, Loretta, Ben, and Cheryl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So there you go. They are now named Cash, Loretta, Ben, and Cheryl. Yeah. What is their last name? Golden. Golden. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they can be part of our family. Well, I don't even want them. That's a family. Maybe They'll not. come over more often. Maybe like... I don't know. That's too much. Yeah. Can't yeah. Uh, that was a lot of pressure. Yeah. So the next question is also from at PW24. And it said, I actually really like this question. Who would you put on your musical Mount Rushmore? Oh. Wait, how many faces are around on, on Mount Rushmore? Four, I think. Four? That's what I thought. I think. Roosevelt. I don't know who. Wash okay. We're not going to go through who. <laughs> yeah. We don't need to but, go through Yeah. That. There's four. Yeah. So. Okay. So four. So. I have to put Johnny Cash, yeah. obviously. Um, I would also put 
Taylor Swift. Okay. I would also put Michael Jackson. Okay. We all know. Oh, yes. Yes. Usher. Usher. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a good one. I do love me some Usher. Yeah, you haven't shown him any love. Yeah. We'll put Usher on there. So, Usher, Taylor Swift, Johnny Cash, and Michael Jackson. That's like a good range. Yeah, that is cool. a good range. It's like Hitting something for genres. everybody. <laughs> yeah, so, like, everybody. anyone could come to the Megan Golden Mount Rushmore and be entertained for yeah. a little bit. Okay, so the next question is from this weirdo named at IDK Mac. <laughs> Did she just text you? Yeah, she did. We like, just, this is we, live. We don't know that girl at all. <laughs> anyway, she said, favorite YouTube channel, Smirky Face. Well, <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. do you want to answer for me? Her favorite YouTube channel is Dan is not on fire, but we also, or she also loves <laughs> Amazing Phil. Yeah. Yeah, Amazing yeah, Phil. Yeah, Amazing Phil. But anyway, so the main reason I came in town for a few days is because we got tickets to go to Dan and Phil tour on Tuesday night. And we're super excited because we love them. I have been obsessed with, obsessed with him for a really long time. So this is all my dreams coming true. Yeah, we'll put a link to them yeah. also down below. Yeah, click on Sarah's face <gasps> and then <laughs> you can find their channel. Yeah. So, if we figure out how yeah, to do that. Yeah, if we ever figure out. If we don't figure out, then we'll just put it at the bottom in, like, the description. Yeah. So, Dan always wears black, and so they're kind of very similar. You yeah. might get the two confused. Dan is basically me. Basically, but he's my soulmate. So. <laughs> anyway, the next one is from at 88 Grand Keys. If you can share the stage with any three musicians slash artists, dead or alive, who would they be and why? I would say, obviously, I say him for every answer, but Johnny Cash. Yeah. I would say Taylor Swift, but I've said her too many times, so I'm not saying yeah. her again. Next would be Chris Stapleton. Chris Stapleton, that would be cool. And then next would be... Me, right? So I could, like, be part of your band. But didn't it say musician? Slash artist. I'm an artist. <laughs> <laughs> I can become an artist. <laughs> like, what kind of artist? Like an interpretive dance artist or a tambourine artist. I played viola for two years. <laughs> oh yeah, so my third one would be Sarah. Yay. You, are, you know, we're already halfway there. You have a song about me. True. True. Check it out. So it's pretty good. Yeah, third artist, Sarah. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> At Jeb J99 Cal, C A L. I don't know. They're all capital. Anyway, what is your favorite movie ever? look my favorite movie ever is Moulin Rouge oh I love that movie so, seriously my favorite movie it's so good so good that song that they sing um the welcome to everybody yeah that that's this is song. yeah I know and I it has so much song. good music in it it's so good it's like the bomb I'm obsessed with this also Ewan McGregor is hot by the way if we can count plays oh as gosh. movies it would be phantom of the opera phantom of the opera is a movie though but i don't like the movie version i only like the play version the movie is so good gerard butler no, no i do not like the movie version i mean it's okay but it would not be my favorite like up there but the play version look up the 50th anniversary no 25th anniversary oh crap i can't remember i remember Anyways, it is good it's like anniversary it. one and they do it in london and it's so good and then at the end, they bring out Andrew Lloyd Webber, and they bring out, like, all these phantoms and the original Christine, and they all sing, and it's so good. Okay, so Megan hates so all good. form of, like, touching and, like, emotion and, like, just, like, being, I don't know. She has a personal bubble. Don't pop it. No. And one day, we were at my house, and we were watching this <laughs> movie, and all of a sudden, she laid her head on my shoulder and, like, was snuggled on me and was like crying at this thing and I was like I'm so not okay with this right now. I mean I cry but like it's not normally in like front of people yeah. and so not this night. I like things that bring out like that's what I love about Moulin Rouge too yeah. like, and Van with Opera is they bring all the feels out. Yeah. I love it. Okay so this question is the last one and it's from at LHT69 Lawn. And it says, have you ever been to Hawaii? 
If not, any plans to come here? I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Um, we have plans to come as soon as we have plans to come as soon as we oh get gosh. there. <laughs> I have never been to Hawaii. I don't have any exact plans to go. I would love to go to Hawaii. Fun facts, my mother was born in Hawaii. Um, so she's been there, but I have not been there. Uh, but I would love to go to Hawaii. Yeah, Let's take I would a trip too. To Hawaii. I would love to like surf, like in Lilo and Stitch. Do you remember how they would like surf with the sister? It was uh, so cute. I would want someone to like. I just want to sit on the surfboard and someone surf for me. Um. Okay. <laughs> Next question, please. That's the last one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Well. Um, so, if you enjoyed this video, let her know, and, you know, well, she'll make more. <laughs> For this video, she'll make more of them that are, like, fun, not necessarily, like, you know, singing. Not just like, singing all the time. Yeah. I know you don't want to see that every single video, so <laughs> we're trying to do fun things other than that. Maybe we can do, like, a Skype video where, because oh, be I live really far away, so she I can does. just drop by. She does. But, yeah. Do that. Subscribe. You have to subscribe you and have like. To. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Yeah, it was nice meeting you all. We need like a <laughs> cool like end thing. <laughs> yeah. This was fun. This was fun. See you later, alligators. Adios. Peace out. Au revoir. <laughs> My French. I'm good at French. Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.